So I'm going to speak for just a few moments, set the stage, so to speak. We gather tonight in this candle lighting service to commemorate the awakening of a great light. Yeshua chose to incarnate all those long years ago to bring the message to all of the world that we are bringers of light. We are the people we've been looking for. We are them. And this message was brought to the world by Yeshua ben Joseph. He studied with masters, ascended masters, saints, in all many parts of the world. He spent several years in England. He journeyed to India and Tibet, studied with Buddhist and Hindu masters, went to Egypt, studied with Egyptian masters, and became a bringer together of the spiritual traditions of all the world. And the purpose of that was so that he could speak truth to the world, truth that the people might understand. It's my belief that he didn't really intend to start a new religion. He just wanted people to understand that they were already blessed. They were already divine beings. I like to think of Yeshua as the founder of the interfaith movement because he assembled bits and pieces of spiritual traditions from all the world and brought them together in a coherent message that was able to be understood by most people. He taught the divinity of each being. He taught the practice of extending unconditional love. Often he was, in fact, misunderstood, sometimes even misunderstood by his own disciples. But since that time, much has improved in the world. There have been numerous masters and enlightened beings who have brought the message of our own divinity to us. There has been a great movement forward in those 2,000 years that have elapsed since that incarnation in which Yeshua became rather famous. So what's What's next? What's next for the people of the world? We have the opportunity to make this great leap forward in consciousness. And what, what's, what we're called to do in order to accomplish that is to practice the message that Yeshua has brought us, to practice extending love in every situation, to be the love that we are. That is who and what we are, and we've just forgotten how to be that. We extend forgiveness in all of our relationships. And if we tune in and practice this message of oneness, this message of divinity, we will change the world. There is simply and only love. That is all that there is. And if we can practice that and learn to understand that there is no death, 
They're simply a transition from one phase to another. If we practice that and take that into our consciousness, we will literally raise the consciousness of the world and change the world. It's recorded in scriptures that Yeshua said, Lo, I am with you always. Now, in order for that to be true, there must be a means of some communication between us and Yeshua in order for us to know that he's with us. We can pray and maybe we'll get some answers and not. But one of the methods that we can use to hear what he has to say is channeling. Yeshua has used and is using today many channels so that we embodied spirits can listen to this voice for divinity, the voice for God, the voice for extending love in all that we do. Tonight, we are blessed to have Yeshua speaking through the body of my dear friend and long-standing friend, Barbara Brodsky. Sometimes channeling has gotten a bad rap. Sometimes people think, well, it's just hocus pocus. And sometimes even outright fraud. But I guarantee you that what you're about to hear tonight is neither of those things. It is not hocus pocus and it is not fraud. I guarantee it. I've had the personal experience of being in the presence of Yeshua when he's using Barbara's body as a communication device. And I'm telling you, <laughs> it is a very powerful experience and it moves mountains. So I invite you to just relax and hear the voice of Yeshua ben Joseph. And I delight joyfully yield the podium to my beloved brother, Yeshua ben Joseph. I'm holding this up because Barbara's deaf and doesn't know that I'm done talking. My friends, my beloved sisters and brothers, I am Yeshua ben Joseph. I thank you, David, for your introduction. And I'm laughing here because I may be Yeshua, but I still could not figure out quite how to unmute myself. Different times, different tools. And so, David says, I can move a mountain. Well, I guess I have my work cut out for us. Such a blessing to be here with you tonight. To feel your energy and the love and light. We are here together at this time. Literally to change the world. As I came 2,000 years ago, in a time of darkness on the earth, 
the earth devolving into a dark, heavier energy. Whereas, wherein the light was blocked out. I came to bring that light from our heavenly divine father and mother down into the earth and plant it into the earth. At first, just a seed. And through 2,000 years, the seed has been growing. The seed needs gardeners. It cannot grow without those who will clear the soil of weeds, who will water the soil, who will create space for sun in the soil, so that this blessed seed of love can grow. Tonight you celebrate what you think of as my birth. But this is not my birthday. It is the birthday of love. At the time, 2,000 years ago, when this seed was reawakened, I specify reawakened because that seed was there at the beginning. But through so many centuries, of a malice and hatred and fear, the seed had begun to shrivel. It needed new planting into the soil of the earth so that it could re-arise, filling the world with light. Well, what went wrong, you might ask? We still have hatred and we have a pandemic. We have environmental disaster. Yes, what, what went wrong? Beloved ones, nothing has gone wrong. Be patient and have heart. Trust this journey in which all of you mutually have embarked. A journey from fear and darkness into love and light. A journey that you are co-creating, each in your own hearts. People have sometimes misunderstood my work, said that I came to save the world from a sin, with a misunderstanding of that word. I take the letters S-I-N, sinking into a negativity. Through so many lifetimes, so many beings have been sinking into negativity. And what will save us from that? It is not me that will save us. It is all of us together holding the potential of an earth that is awakened, the Eden we have been promised. You are important, by the way to recreate that brilliance, that look. For now, I'm keeping an eye on the clock. Excuse me. Think of us all having gathered there 2,000 years ago, because you were that. Certainly you were that. And we have been walking all day. We're sitting around a fire. Actually, this instrument through whom I am talking. This being was a boy named Mark, a young boy. And he would walk with his father, Nathan, often walking with me. And when the day grew dark and the fire was built, and Mark was tired, he would climb on my lap. I loved to hold him there on my lap. So think of Barbara here sitting on my lap as I talk to you. 
Others of you also sat on my lap at times. You all held that space of love together. Now you despair and say, save us, something save us. But you have everything you need within. Nothing needs to be saved. The important thing is to remember who you are. It is not at my birth that we celebrate. It is the birth of love. Now taking deep root into the earth. Despite what seems to be darkness. You know those lines of the darkest time of the night before the dawn. Dawn is coming. And you each carry that dawn in your own hearts. When you watch the ways that you do sink into negativity, of course you do. You were human. Every human does this at times. But it is not an inevitable process. Watching yourself sink into despair, into negativity, into sadness, into pessimism. Stop and remember the message. You are love. You are light. You are the beloved. You are the one through whom our Creator pours His, her light and energy to shine out on this world. And you have the capacity. When there is a negativity, to turn your backs to that negativity. Not to get caught up in it. My dear friend Aaron would tell you, just need it. Contraction. Negativity. Don't worry about it. If the conditions are present, it would arise. Aaron would tell you. Well, so it does. It is not your essence, and this is the heart of what I came to teach. To awaken you to a knowing your essence as a love. Love one another. Just that simple message. Love one another. Love the Lord. Love all beings of every sort. Love the light and even love the darkness. Do not eat any. This is within your power. So tonight I am going to ask you to give me a Christmas gift. I bring you my love and remind you of the power we all hold to transform the world with the love. Bring me your gift of knowing that love and radiance in your hearts, of your commitment to live the light that you are. So that all beings, those who are in the darkest places in the world, may feel the power of that love and light and be transformed by it. This is our work. I have not come to save you. I have come to take your hands and walk with you. To remind you of your own power because you also are divine. I have no exclusive claim to that divinity. You are divine. You are light. You are the expression of God on the earth. Are you ready to do that?
I believe that you are. You have been in a place of pain these past two years with the pandemic. And so much seems to be going wrong with your work. Just turn your back to it and ask right here in this time of darkness, where is the light? I am the light. You are the light. We claim and restore the light. Those words that you said, joy to the Lord. No. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. This is the king of love. And you are born into that love. I knew you can be, can do it, can embrace it. I am always here with you to help and support you. You are never alone, and each of you have your own guides to help support. Together, we can bring this earth more out of the darkness and into the light, into that which was intended for this earth, a place of true brotherhood, sisterhood, of love. Where no being hates another. Will you do this with me? I ask you this as a Christmas gift. Please work with me on this, and together we can do it. My blessings to you. I am Yeshua ben Joseph, and I am always with you. My energy and my love with you. You never walk alone. And in the darkest hours, look around and say, Yeshua, where are you? And I am here, I promise. I will never break that promise to all your trust. Because you are my beloved sisters and brothers. And together we undertook this work. And yes, we are doing it. Despite how the darkness seems to envelop us, we are bringing light. And that is all that's needed. Love for one another. I wish I had more time to talk with you, but I've been told 15 minutes and it's 14 minutes and 37 seconds. So I greet you with that much love and Christmas blessings. Thank you. I'm going to release the body to Barbara. Well, I will stay in the body for a bit in case there was anything else for which I needed. I pass this back to my friend, David. Thank you.